super super guy. Uh, Mario. Mario can jump really really high. Uh, well, if your princess is in another castle, you know who to call. Cause Mario, Mario is a super super guy. Man, this looks just as good as I thought it did Mario. back then. Shut the fuck up, me on the Twitch. Turn the bad guys into ash. Oh my god. Well, if your hometown is infested by Goombas, you know who to call. Cause Mario, Mario is a super, super guy. While Bowser keeps Princess Toadstool at heart. Man, that guy's a really talented singer. God, dude. He made a reference to the warp pipe in, uh, in level two. A lot of people forget about that. How fucking long is this? Oh. Okay, enough of that. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the mother hecking stream. I haven't even opened up Dolphin yet. Are you going to do an old Hayden video marathon? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I would hate that. Would you guys want me to do that? Like on a different stream? I want to do Paper Mario on this stream. But would you want me to like do a whole stream dedicated to just going through old videos? It'd be pretty short, but uh, it might be a fun nostalgia trip, I guess. All right, my baby's booting up. Oh, no, 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 no. Specific window. All right. All right, we go. Okay. Okay. I did... I have a great distaste for my old videos, so I'm sure it would be just a gas. Let's turn that down for me, but here we go. I'm gonna have to leave in like 10 minutes. All right, Vizaba. Ugh, Vizaba. Ugh. Thank you for being here for a short time, at least. <laughs> I completely forgot already. Mavlio! Mavlio. Alright. I completely forgot where we left off, even. <clears throat> uh, oh, yeah, 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 that's right. <clears throat> On the last episode, we, uh, <clears throat> had fucking fucked it. God damn it! How did I... <laughs> I mean, come on, how was I supposed to know that that thing was gonna make it go up? It's only the exact same color, and pretty much the same thing but smaller but like shit they need to be a little more obvious in these paper mario platformers come on please come down or shit do i have to yeah i do god damn it yeah in the last episode <clears throat> i had another lapse in judgment uh and wandered around the map for a goddamn like 10 minutes trying to figure out how to get past that one skeleton turns out all i had to do was just hit him come on jump it not gonna we got it this is bullshit i'm leaving it's locked you can't open it fucking pessimistic jesus christ <clears throat> just because something's locked does not mean that i cannot open it you have very little faith in me as a human being come on 
fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. I'm really scared. Okay, good. Ba -ba. This thing's on a Yeah, it is. Okay. Please leave me alone. Thank you. Fuck you, Koopa. I'm out. My god. Oh, here we go. Another one of these. And by the way, I'll tell you now, my voice is still a little shot. Uh, I had a cold over the week between uh, episodes, so... I'll keep doing voices, but maybe I won't do a very good job. Like, what the fuck was his voice, even? Well, all people say that if you look back at your old work, if you're ashamed, that means you've improved. I like that perspective, yeah. Alright, this is like, Hey, guests! I guess that's his name now. Hey, guests! It's been a long time since anyone came here. I re a real long time. Why don't you just imagine this is the same guy that keeps getting locked up in different chests? Huh? You heard me? Wow! Sounds like like a villain from a 90s anime. Like a bully. Wait a sec. If you can hear my voice, you must be some legendary hero or something. Why do they keep going off of this lie? It's not true. <laughs> or not. To be honest, I'm sure anyone with ears can hear me. <laughs> but it sure is fun zigging people with that whole legendary hero bit. Woo! Hey, bad draw, what's good? Hey, but seriously, folks, I was wondering if you could let me out of this chest. Hey, come on, come on, guys, just let me out. Come on, you can trust me. Come, come on, you can trust me. I'm a good, a good guy, you know? I've been locked in here so long, I'm starting to cramp up like you wouldn't believe. Got my shoulders all bonking against the corners. All you have to do is find the key and let me out. Easy. Huh? What do you mean? You think you'll be cursed if you open the box? Ridiculous! Who would do that? Really? Wait in a box and curse fools? A real slime ball, that's who. But I'm not a real slime ball, and I would I, and I would do no such thing. But that should be obvious. <coughs> it clearly wasn't obvious to me. <laughs> Mario had to had to ponder that for a second. Look! If you help me out, maybe I'll help you out. You know, a, a little I scratch your bag, you scratch mine. <laughs> Except in reverse order. Of course, you don't have to if you don't really want to. Like, finding a pfft is hard. It's in this next room, isn't it? I know your game. I know your fucking game. You want me to cross over that threshold, but I know better than that. Come on. Cracking the wall. Ugh, I know you want me to hit it with my big heavy hammer that can totally break through that crack, but I know better. I know better. There, see, this maze is fucking easy. Come on. <laughs> this is fucking easy. Come on. <sighs> but I got the black key. Oh, fuck. See? I knew better. But Mario, look at that. Oh. I don't like the look of this. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. They give you a timer? Oh, that's not that bad. Now, if I didn't know where to go, that'd be pretty bad. But, uh, <laughs> as we all know... <laughs> I, I know better. I know way better. Do they seriously give you, like, let, like, I'm at 30 goddamn minutes right now. How long is this going to take? Am I going to see the spikes drop? Oh my god, there they are. How long does this fucking take? Well, I guess 20 minutes. 20 seconds. Anyways. <clears throat> Man, that was not close at all. Got to shake it off. Whew. Okay, we got the key. Let's go open that spooky chest. Hey there, I'm the same voice. Boy, I'm so glad you <coughs> found that key. Unbelievable. <coughs> Let me get some water. I'm re like I said, I'm recovering from a cold. <sighs> yeah, recovering from a cold. I'm still a bit weak. Oh, you left. Oh, thank you very much. Fools! 
Whoa, this guy looks cool. Now, now that I see him, he looks cool. Why only the most idiotic, pudding-brained dolt would fall for a scheme like that? The castle's traps prevent anyone who's entering this place from ever leaving it. No matter which path you take, you're fated to waste away to a slow, painful death unless you leave out the exit I've left out five times. But wait, there's more! This great... There's more to this great deal. I'll throw in a free curse! No charge! Oogly boogly boo! Now you're cursed, doofus! I love this game. And it serves you right! This curse is more... Cursedly curse-worthy than any curse that's ever cursed you. For this curse makes you like a piece of paper when you press and hold R. Ha ha ha, I love it so much that I'm gonna make you do a fucking tutorial. That's the scariest part about this, I'd say. Tap it as much as you fucking can. You'll never leave this goddamn tutorial. God. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> There we go. All right, very good. God fucking... <laughs> I love that they have you land on no. Like, no, no, no. You can't skip through this. You better be reading. Awesome. Okay. So now we're able to do that other puzzle. First, we're able to leave out of here. That's interesting. Yeah, you can't leave out of there unless uh, you have that power. So you can't even wander the moment you come into that room. Oh, fuck, 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 I'm so scared. No, please don't hit me. Oh, please don't, no. No, 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 please don't, no. Yeah, the music for Paper Mario and Paper Mario Thousand Year Door have always like stood out to me, I think. Most, uh, most like Nintendo games always have such great music, usually because it has uh, a consistent artist, Koji Kondo, who made, uh, I mean, he made the original Mario music, you know, all the stuff that you guys love, like the do 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 all that. Um, but even far into, uh, you know, the 90s, 2000s, even today, uh, <laughs> 80s and 90s and today, um, yeah, Koji Kondo uh, was always the uh, the musician for uh, Nintendo, and it seems like he was always really good at just producing really lovable, lighthearted music. You know what? Uh, one thing that he does with uh, his music that I've always thought about with my art is any track that he made, he would play it in the background over and over again and see if the track ever got like tiring to listen to or if it was consistently uh, entertaining because it was music for a video game so he had to listen to it and you all the players had to listen to it over and over and over again so it made sense that kind of thinking and I really dig that about him thinks ahead it's he's a very smart uh, artist and like I said I do that with my own art um, it comes off as remarkably narcissistic um, but I, I try not to share with people. I usually put my art uh, as my wallpaper <laughs> on my desktop just so that I know if I keep it on my desktop for a few days and I'm not sick of looking at it, then it was a good piece of art. And that's... Fuck. And that's my excuse. <laughs> oh, hello, everybody. Hey, everybody's coming in. <coughs> What's up, Lulu? Hey there, TJC. What did I miss? Not much. I've just been fucking around. Oh shit, good thing that anime I totally wanted to watch didn't load. Good day, good evening, good morning, or good night, complete stranger. Hey. Good morning all, complete strangers, or good day, or good night. Hey, I just wanted to clarify something from last stream. Marilyn Manson did not remove two ribs to suck his willy. He removed his... <laughs> he removed his willy to suck two of his ribs. All right, I'm really glad that we were able to get that settled. Everyone has gone and done rap. I'm still here singing jazz. Yo, dude. Excellent. All right, Mario's fucking yawning. We're going to move. Yo, Tom Peril becomes more and more depressing each birthday. I, yeah. I love Yo, Tom so much. I think one of the reasons I love him is because... Wait, I need this key for something else. I think back there. 
One of the reasons I love Yotam is because he's kind of in a hard place. Which is an infinitely selfish thing to say, but it's true. Uh, I like it because it's very relatable. I think, like, a lot of adults <laughs> relate to that whole, oh god, everything is really fucking difficult all of a sudden. And so seeing Yotam be in that shitty situation is like, oh man, maybe I'm not so bad after all. <laughs> you like the, these sick dodging skills I got, yo? I got the strats, bro. Where in the actual fuck am I going? Like, I've completely forgotten. I got a key. I did. Opens the door in hooked okay. That oh, wait. I'm stupid. I, I thought that the key would look different when I'd get it. Mm, okay. I, I know where to go. I know where to go. Hey, daddy. <laughs> I've got the perfect video game idea for you, daddy. Wait. <laughs> wait to hear it. Want to hear it? Yeah. Oh, watching Luigi's Mansion video? Oh, that's a good one. <coughs> Actually, that one, uh... Fuck! Fuck! I was in the middle of nostalgia. Uh, a fun little thing about that, actually, I, uh... You know that one joke that, uh... Where I say, like, you know, Oh, get it, e gad, and then I use the... And then I use a sexy saxman mu music and make a dumb face. Uh, a friend of mine at the time, who was also a reviewer, he stole that joke, actually. Well, not stole it, because he asked me for it. But he took that exact joke and put it into his review. And I remember that was one of the first times where I'm like, yeah, I'm collaborating with people, I guess. So it's an RPG where every class is a different bard playing a different inst- Fucking- <clears throat> Where every class is a different bard playing a different instrument. Each character and enemy contributes to the soundtrack of the game. Hey! I do kind of like that. I like that because I love music. Um, I'm curious though how that would bleed into gameplay. Like... That'd just be like the story of a bunch of musicians, like a bunch of musician fighters. Which does sound interesting. Hmm. I don't think I've ever heard of a game like that. There were games like uh, Brutal Legend, which was about a rock star. Uh, but that was kind of it. Yeah. Yeah, no, that sounds really cool, actually. Yeah, do it. Could you please beat yourself with a sock filled with dairy products? <laughs> While I beat myself with a sock filled with dairy products. Because that's way too many trans fats for me. If I take pride in anything, it's remembering my own shitty jokes from fucking four years ago. Because <laughs> that's just way too many trans fats for me. Oh yeah, that's when Vix and Sledge showed up. I'm Vix, and I'm Sledge! <laughs> Hell yeah. God damn it, Ratchet! I was fucking looking at your comment! <laughs> Fuck you. I'm mad now. Fuck you. Oh, oh bullshit. Oh, okay. 
I just hit him with a hammer. Do I like the Spider-Man triple action web blaster? No! I do not! <laughs> no. That was like the dumbest joke. That was one of those things that uh, I didn't really script it. I didn't know how to open that. All I knew is somewhere in the conversation I was going to talk about how much I love Luigi. And so I just turned on the camera and was like, you know what I love? Cheese is good, despite the trans fats. Cheese is good, yeah. I try to actually cut it out of my diet as much as I can. Yo, guys, so what we usually do in the Paper Mario playthroughs, at least we did in the last one, is you guys decide uh, what I should uh, level up. So give me, give, give, give me a go. And while we do this, I'm going to read the comments. If I ever do it, can you voice it a little bit? I love your voice. Oh, thank you, Glutie, and yes. Uh, contact me about it. Uh, hopefully I'll be available by the time you need voices. Fuck you, Sledge. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, Sledge. Fuck you. And on the eighth day, Shadow said that there be thighs and thigh highs and knee socks and mini skirts. There will be suspenders. Let there be garters. Let there be tights. And let there be... And let them bear flesh. In the name of the divine ratio. Amen. <laughs> what the fuck was that, TJC? I love it. I have... I say One, two, three, four. PP. Alright. Badge points. We got one for badge points, one for health. Level up, level. <laughs> very, very, very funny, Lulu. Health. More health. Level up, level health. You forgot tiny mini skirts. So Revenant, I don't hear you contributing to my to my voter system. There's a coffee pot I found somewhere. Huh. More cowbell. Son! I need to be in the hospital! I can't be here right now, son! That's my favorite. Alright, another vote for PP. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we kind of do need PP, don't we? That's not PP, actually. That's BP, but I know what you mean. Any more votes? Any more? Any more love? Alright, fuck it. We have way too many votes for BP. <laughs> Make PP <pee -pee> bigger. <laughs> it's not BP anymore, it's PP. It's canon. Goops, did you see me level up my PP? Goops, do you like the way I level up my PP? Um, where are those to use? Oh, yeah, power bounds. Fuck yeah. <clears throat> Power Smash in Paper Mario 1 used to be 3 badge points and they downgraded it to 1 for some reason. Huh? Oh my! Who's this handsome piece of cheese? And what is that fucking music? I hate it! I can't believe there are other thieves here besides me. How very strange. Can't quite do the voice when I'm when I'm hurt. <laughs> I hope I clipped that good. Point level up. Yeah, yeah, we were deciding about uh, what things to level. Hey, hey, who are you? Lost my place. Why, Miss? I'm Miss Meowsy. <laughs> She sounds like the way of doing her voice makes it sound like she's sick. Heard of me, sweetie? I make her sound like an old lady. 
I heard there were rare and valuable badges here in this castle, this very old castle. That's why I'm here. That's like exploring an abandoned shed for money. But the real question is, why are people like you roaming around in such a run-down place? Oh, uh, well, you see. <laughs> That's Coop's voice. Oh, uh, well, you see. Where to beat Hooktail and get the, uh, 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 the crystal stars. But don't tell nobody, okay? Don't tell nobody, all right? I'm Coops. Mario here's a little brain dead. I speak for him. I'm Coops, everyone. So don't think we'll let you get the crystal star first, no matter how cute you are. Seems how embarrassing to say that. I can't believe I said that, Mario. Crystal star, you say? <laughs> Hold on. My mom is trying to find where my dad is and he's just upstairs. She's freaking out. In the meantime, listen to this wonderful music. Perhaps I just heard something you didn't want me hearing. Oh, darn. Oh, but that's okay. I mean, you were looking for the crystal star first. And I already found the badge I was after, so I'll let you get the crystal star. <coughs> crystal star. <coughs> Why did I choose to play Paper Mario when my voice <laughs> was a little weak? Uh, hey, what's that supposed to mean? Doing his voice is easy. Oh, fuck, dude. Holy shit, Mario just got some. Oh my god, guys. It means I must say bye-bye for now, Mr. Cutie. I know, it's sad. We mu we just met and already it is time to say farewell. Alas. Oh my, you're so bold. Is that legal? Oh, I almost forgot. I have a little secret to share with you. <laughs> so uh, this castle is a badge that helps you best hook tail. Or so I've heard. I don't know what kind of badge it is. Maybe you found it already. Maybe not. If you're going to fight Hooktail, I recommend finding that bat first. Well, take care, handsome mustache man. Let's get together and have food. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, my God, I love that. <laughs> I wonder what her story is. I bet it's an interesting one. Full of romance. What's that voice? <laughs> what are any of my voices? This voice <laughs> I had a video idea, a series of reviews where you review Ocarina of Time Majora's Mask and you were bri bribed by Mr. Sawit, because happy mask salesman. His bribe was if you reviewed them and told the world how perfect the game is, uh, if you had compiled and finished both games, he would give you the ability to leave the house. Oh, that old... F I, I kind of dropped that, actually. <laughs> That used to be a story thing. Oh, fuck yeah, I got a mushroom. I've always wanted one. That used to be like a story thing uh, with the Dratic Seconds, but I kind of dropped it uh, about around the time of... Uh, <clears throat> maybe about around the time I started introducing Mr. Rabbington. Now, like, the canon's completely different. Now it's just like the Dratic Segments are... Dreddix does reviews and other dumb shit, and he has a pet named Mr. Rabbington. Fuck, I was really hoping that would do some kind of damage. Kind of a waste. Although, you know, that being said, I have planned on reviewing Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. So, that is still a thought. Right now I'm getting footage uh, for Super Mario Sunshine, actually, for like a weird little sunshine video. I'm not sure what yet, um, but I'm getting the footage and I'm writing down jokes and scenarios and stuff. So yeah, it'd be kind of cool, it'd be kind of fun. Really? There's no key? Yo, what the H? Oh. Oh, okay. Ooh. 
Well, in the Wonder World, you gave here a unique instrument growing louder as you walk a certain direction and you discover an NPC. Dreddix is crazy. Why does everyone sexualize that mouse? That's because that's what she fucking does. She runs up to you and she's all like, yo, bitch, you all fu God damn it. Ba -da -ba -ba If I were you, I'd call it quits and. <laughs> if I were you, I'd call it quits and head straight for the Spider Man 2 audition. You start making some decent dough and people stop thinking I'm your pet rat. I cannot even fathom why it is they thought it was a good idea to make Murphy fucking Seinfeld for Rayman 3. Bandicoot is real. Excuse me? <laughs> I remembered I wanted to like Crash Bandicoot for like years. Like I kept putting it on and trying to play it, but I don't know. Maybe it's a game that I should have grown up with to really like or something, but yeah, Crash Bandicoot just doesn't do it for me and I'm a little disappointed in that. Maybe I'd like the new game because uh, I really like how it looks visually in the new game. I know a lot of people have a lot of reasons to hate it, though. Uh, I heard nothing but bad things about uh, the latest Crash game. That one where they uh, basically remade the first game, I think. And people get very technical about their hate. Like, they're like, oh man, Crash Bandicoot, and like the original one, it was a lot more like precise and sharp because of this and that and some other reason. It wasn't as cool. Back in my day, Crash Bandicoot was cool. He's not cool anymore. Bad now. I get really passionate about my favorite games. Even when I suck dick at them, as you can see. So, yeah. I had a feeling like the moment that that Crash uh, remake was coming out, that everybody in the world was going to hate it and they were going to pick it apart. Just such a fucking piece of shit. It's just such an easy target uh, to get mad at. Because it's like, it's your favorite game, your childhood game, but it looks different. Ew. Oh no. It doesn't look exactly like my childhood, so it's got to be objectively awful. I don't know. I'm also. <laughs> I'm being a bit of a bully about this now. Put this. I don't give a shit about Crash Bandicoot. I don't play Crash. I'm an adult. I don't even play video games. Okay, 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 okay. You know, actually, confession time, because I don't know how many people agree with me on this. Uh, when... No, sorry. When uh, Super Paper Mario came out, I loved it, and I used to think it was better than Thousand Year Door. Since then, I feel like they're completely different games, so it's hard to judge something like that, but uh, yeah, that's, that's what I thought for a while. Carefully crash, uh, careful, crash is real, he might beat you up. <laughs> Can anyone help me uh, with a YouTube profile pic? What, like drawing one? Would you like to commission me? Because it's about, because uh, I just charge 15 bucks to draw uh, profile pics. With shading and coloring and everything. Yeah. 
It was the first three games. They remade the three good... Fuck. Fuck. My god. <laughs> was it worth it, Hayden? Was it really? I'll be it frustrating. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of how a lot of the crash games are. I haven't played a thousand years before. It's good. Or you could commission me. N uh, um, or or you could commission someone that's a lot cooler. Or you could commission Bumble. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Do I look like do do, <laughs> do I look like a guy that looks like he cares? Like, come on. Uh, I don't care. Commission you whoever you want, so long as it's me. Anyways. No, all art is supposed to be free. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I've yet to bump into a person like that, although I haven't dealt with a lot of commissions in my life uh, yet. Hopefully I bump into more people. It's all about getting yourself out there, you know? Pestering the living shit out of people until they finally... You finally are holding them down with their arm twisted behind them and you're just like, Fucking... Just, just hire me, goddammit! And then they do it. It sucks when you're shy and... But you have to get yourself out there in order to get a single job as an artist. That shit sucks, man. But you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Just blazing through this shit, my god. Yo, you all you you all super impressed with my hot paper Mario skills? Look, I managed to get all the way back from that stupid dumbass mistake that I made. Wait a minute, is this the badge that I need to get? Well the badge that I need to get is this one. Cause it sounds like Yeah, it sounds like crickets. Yay, I got the... Okay, now I gotta walk all the way. I really wanted to get that badge, though, okay? You don't understand. Fuck. Also, PFP would cost... Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Oh, yeah, that's kind of the other thing that gets in the way of commissions is some people don't have PayPal. Although, if you just send the money request link, uh, it doesn't require you to have PayPal, just as long as you have some kind of credit card. Oh, well, thank you so much. For at least considering uh, hiring me. Yeah, that's another thing. Uh, a lot of people within my fan base. Um, I say that because it's still weird for me even years later. Um, but a, lo a lot of the people that I know uh, are either in like poor money situations or don't have a credit card to speak of. So, yeah. Commissioning folks like that is a little more uh, difficult. But hey. I get what I can get, such as the way of an artist. Hey, how much for like a full body? Uh, <coughs> let me see. I'm trying to remember because I made the chart, but I'm struggling to remember the price. For a full body with like color and shading and all that good stuff, I think that levels out to about maybe 30 or 35 bucks. Oh, shit, this is going to bug me now. Um... Excuse me while I look this up. Let me let me just sit here on the God damn it! Okay. Let me just sit here on the on the plane. Just Ah uh, yeah yeah yeah. For like a full body thing, uh that'd be like uh for like the line work, just line work and I leave it in like black and white with maybe some shading. Um black and white shading. That'd be 30 bucks for flat colors. That'd be 35 and for full body with colors and shading. That'd be 40 bucks. Mm. 
And then if you have like a added character or something, then that would be an extra 15. So yeah. I should commission some people. Also, give to some Patreons. Hey, why don't you support my Patreon? I only ask for one dollar from any patrons. I mean, five bucks if you want the project files, but... Uh, I mean, that's up to you. I have that separation because I expect most people that come to my Patreon will only donate like a dollar. But I still include the five dollar thing because I'm like... Yeah. Might as well give up something. You might as well put in those options. But pretty much everything uh, on my Patreon is under the $1, unless you want project files. Which would be under the $5. Guys, please go uh, support my, uh, my Patreon. I post a lot of great stuff on there. I actually post a lot more uh, frequently than I did during the Dreadic segments. Pretty much all of my art I posted there in high quality. And uh, I even give previews. I gave a preview for uh, Father in the Field a few days before it came out. So yeah, if you're interested in any of that, uh, support my Patreon. Only a dollar a month. <coughs> I should make some video talking about my Patreon, actually. I don't think a lot of people are aware of it. Either that or just all my friends are aware of it and they hate me. <laughs> That's always my assumption with everything. Someone's not supporting me, so clearly they must be mad at me, or they, or, or I'm not good enough. It's a terrible way of thinking, though. Clearly, obviously. Obviously you're good enough, because people in the past have said you're really good. You know what? This is starting to remind me of Last Guardian. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, I wanted to hit him. At least he didn't hit me. Hayden, are you Jewish? I am not. There's also people who will wait until you're finished with the drawing, then not pay for it. Yeah. A dollar is a too lighter of a pop. Should I make a Patreon? Or fund my content and make better stuff for anyone who wants to see it? Uh, oh yeah, the Garfield thing. I asked Love about it. Uh, <clears throat> it's because I was designing the sun and I was like, you need something weird about him. Like, what is a sun? What would a son in this circumstance, like, have? And I was like, oh, he'd probably have, like, a pet or something. And I was looking at Love's weird Garfield drawing, and I'm like, oh, hell yeah. Mm, gotta do it. And so I asked him, could I put your funny Garfield thing in? And he said, yeah. Oh, and me and Love actually made up lore about, uh, <laughs> about Father in the Field. <laughs> we were saying, like, what was it? that Garfield brainwashed the son into assassinating his father because Garfield wanted the crown. And, uh... <laughs> and Love is making an animation right now that will reference Father in the Field. And we kind of want to make, like, this extended universe thing going on. It's, it's fun. We're just fucking around. Please. Fuck. Why can't I hit these guys? Oh, wait, it's because he's got defense. Well, not anymore. In horror films, there's a lot... <laughs> there's a lot to... There's a... In horror films, there's a lot to thousand-year gore. Hey, Alpha Arcade. This guy, this guy's a l regular literary genius. My God. See, see, look, look at this, look at this health box right here. Back in the old Paper Mario, it used to be free, you know. But Paper Mario Thousand Year Door is teaching us. All the best things in life are free, but not your health. Much like the American Health Service. It's it's revolutionary how they do this. How they're able to integrate this kind of deep writing <coughs> into 
such a simple game. But <clears throat> something I want to make clear here is the exact price. Six dollars. Or, well, six coins, but let's just say it's dollars. It costs six dollars for me to get my health back. But if you go to my Patreon right now, you can get high quality art. You can get art dumps at the end of the month, not safe for work. You can get uh, updates on future projects in the making, can wallpapers, all of that for $1. Or if you want to pay a little extra, $5. I would never ask you to pay $6. And now back to our show. <laughs> uh, I'm Canadian, so... Mm. Hayden, more like Gaiden. Stop. You're making me upset. Hayden took my box of fruit snacks. I fucking didn't! Bubble, stop it! <laughs> I never did that! Who dares approach me? Father! Is this what you do all day? Just hang in this room? Like, that's cool. Why did I do that? Mmm, <laughs> so... You are friends of the strange gabbed one who came earlier. I didn't expect more to come to steal the treasure I protect. Such rashness. That was foolish, I fear. Do you really think you can beat me? But you're so small. And you don't appear tasty. I suppose you might make a good snack. And the bottoms of your feet smell... <coughs> like they might make a good sauce... With some spice... What are you getting at? What I'll do is saute you to crispy goodness and gobble you down at first. All right, shit. It's <laughs> coming at me, jeez. Snack time, little appetizer. Which one of you morsels should I taste first? Oh, hell yeah. Play that awful sound. It sounds like a cricket. How did you know? Stop that this instant. I, I feel really bad. Food poisoning once when I ate a cricket. I ate them. Oh, fight it, Hookie. Just hear a cricket chip makes me feel woozy. That's it. Yeah, you need the cricket. You need to play cricket with him. Buck, buck, buck. I thought that I could play that. Damn it, thought that I could do a style jump. Oh, must not gag. <coughs> oh, God. Hell yeah. Please, please, please. Fuck. Ba -ba -da -da, ba -ba -da -da. Ah. Fuck. Why am I so bad at this? Oh. Yeah. Think that you're able to take me down? Think you're able to take me down? Oh, come on, hit me with that flame breath. I feel nothing. I feel nothing at all. Oh, he gets weaker. Oh my god. Wait, hold up a moment. I give up. Please. I won't be so bad anymore, I promise. In fact, I'm sorry for everything. Yeah, to prove it, I'll give you 1,000 coins. What do you say? For 1,000 coins? Sure! Nah, no, fuck you. Keep your coins, you fiend. <coughs> well, you must be joking. You don't need any coins? Then how about the lovely red extra special badge I have? I'll give you that. It's one of a kind, and it's yours for a limited time only. Will you take it? Keep it, you cad. Who speaks like this? Honestly, who speaks like this? This dragon had a wide selection of fetishes. It tastes like pasta. It tastes like paisano. This dragon confirms 
confirmed to have a foot boar fetish. Sounds a bit like Uganda Knuckles. Alright. If Mario made of paper, shouldn't he die from being set on fire? Game theory. Get on that. Keep it, you caddy. Somebody touch my spaghetti! Uh, really? Well, well then, how, how about for a limited time only you, you subscribe to Dratix's Patreon and give him one dollar a month. It's such a good deal. Well, I suppose I could apologize by letting you smell the bottom of my feet. This guy talks about feet way too much. This is getting weird. People pay good money to do this. I'm being completely honest right now, really. So, take a whiff of the rich yet delicate scent of my world-renowned feet. Oh my god, what the fuck? This dragon has a foot fetish. What in the world? I don't even remember that. You aren't a very trusting fellow. No, I'm not just a fucking weirdo like you. <laughs> Sorry to all those with a foot fetish. I don't mean to be rude. I'm just saying it's weird when he says it. It's important to be able to trust somebody, you know. Fuck off? How about? How about, uh, fuck off? How about, I don't trust fucking dragons with a creepy foot fetish that they won't shut up about? Yeah, well, I guess I better... Oh my god! <coughs> oh my god! Oh my god, that's just not right! Oh, my strength has returned to me! You're fucking crazy! This guy's not only a foot fetish, he's a cannibal! I've had enough of this, let's finish this guy off fast, Mario! Oh, this is awesome. Then you get on the stage. I love it. Oh, why do I always have to feel so faint every time I hear a cricket? Fuck. Yeah. Fuck, I don't have any... Whatever, I just hit him with those. Uh... Oh, no. Okay, hopefully this is a uh, flower. Please, please. Alright. Hey, you know what? I don't care. Okay. Yeah! Oh shit! Uh, uh, I, uh, how? Why? There's so much I wanted to do with my life. So many meals. Oh shit! Awesome. I like how he's just made out of a collection of paper. Wow, we actually pulled it off, Mario. <coughs> I don't know if I can do voices much longer. Now all we have to do is find the crystal star thing you're looking for, Mario. Mario! Ooh. Oh no, Mario, it's a spooky ghost! Ooh. Oh, that is, that is gross. It's Cooper! Uh, no. I'm out, I'm finally out! It's me, Sean Connery! Whoa, he can't be. Hey. Okay, what is this music? <laughs> Game Theory, Paper Mario is actually created by Dan Schneider. <laughs> Jelly Pudding Pop. What is Hooktail, a writer of the Nickelodeon sitcom? Everyone has fetishes, but no one should get mad when they're made fun of. I have a thigh fetish. Oh no, that's that's not weird at all. Thighs are like a very that's a very commonly accepted uh, 
thing. Hey, you goops. Hey, goops. I got a deal for you, all right, kid? All right, you got to come back to my apartment, okay? All right, we're going to go there. I got a new, like, business lined up. You can help me, you know, cut out the badges for you. You don't want to know what he's saying. Come on, we're going to have a drink later. Come on. <coughs> Just because he's his dad doesn't mean he's a good dad. Where have you been all this time? Well, it came here a while back with the deal with Oak Taylor. I can't have a He played a trick on me, all right? A trick, a dirty trick, and he gobbled me down home. I've been on my shelf for 10 years since then inside Oakdale's little belly. And now, but boy, was it nasty. Whoa, I'm so glad I finally got out. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Honestly, Dad, I don't know how worried we are about you. For 10 long years, we thought you, you know, thought your game was over. Oh, sorry, son, but I'm okay. That's good, right? We're together now, right? All right, shut the fuck up, all right? God damn it, your dad's leaving again. I got another big project over in Chicago. I know a couple buddies down there. They're going to make me rich. Fucking rich, boy. Oh, come on, Dad. I came here to defeat Hooktail, who's been wrecking, wreaking havoc in my town. And Mr. Mario here is looking for a gem called the Crystal Star. Crystal Star? I think I've been grinding that up for the last ten years and snorting it. I don't know it was important. This wouldn't be what you're talking about, would it? Whoa, what's that? I found it down here in the Hooktail's belly. Nice, huh? Kept it as a souvenir. Yeah. This is the thing you're looking for? Perfect, just perfect. You can have it. This guy is so optimistic. Come on now, I won't take no for an answer. You're Coop's friend, please take it. Oh, yeah. Jadix is kind of like my dad. Uh, thanks, I guess. He's the guy who taught me what condoms were. Oh shit, and he also taught me adult humor. I wish Psycho was my dad. You stop that. D Dad? <laughs> I have a fetish. I have a fetish where every 24 hours I must play Dead Rising 4. <laughs> Yet they were unable to learn anything about the whereabouts of the princess. Oh yeah, I forgot we lost her. Where can Princess Peach be? Yes, Mario's adventure has only just begun. <laughs> Keck the way Mario says, oh yeah. Can I just say, like, in this game, Peach is the cutest that she's ever been in any game. Like, th this is my favorite Peach, is this one. <clears throat> oh, great exalted Grotus, we brought the princess Peach you ordered, sir. Well, 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 my pet. Isn't it about time you told us where the map is? Princess Peach. You will speak when spoken to. I'm telling you, I don't know. There's no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me, it's very much in your interest to be absolutely honest with us. <coughs> we ex nots are not all rainbows and lollipops, I assure you. We're quite nasty. We're so nasty, we do a fucking goofy X thing right before talking. <laughs> this game is especially Japanese, I notice, you know? Grotus, sir, I have news. Reported once! You know that crystal star we thought maybe Hooktail had? Well, somebody nabbed it. Uh. What? What did you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars and he defeated a hooktail queen, so you say? Speak, soldier! Yeah, sorry, sir. There's more, too. See, according to the report, it was a mustache dude in a red hat and blue overalls who pulled the job. Mario! Mario! Excuse me, Mario. Oh, no! <laughs> Hello, 
This is what I'm talking about. She's the best. Oh no! I see. You know of this Mario, do you? Hmm? This fool matters not at all. I'll know all about him before long. I promise. I grow bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Hey, Ezra! Fuck, they know Mario now. Oh no. And men, take good care of Princess Peach. Understand? She is not to be harmed. Unless I decide to give her a good bopping with my stick. Bop! I'm gonna hit her with my X stick. I don't know why I like pulling at my mustache. I'm a weirdo. To subscribe to guys, please subscribe to uh, the Dradix magazine for free Paper Mario fidget spinners. If he has the map, then it's highly then it's highly likely he'll find the crystal stars we're hunting for in the Boogly Woods. Great Boogly Moogly. Is that? Oh uh, yeah, it's Roger Gritos. And with that, pow! I'm gone. Oh fuck. I wonder if sending Lord Clum there alone is wise. He's a bit out there. Who the fuck is calling me when I'm streaming? It's ridiculous. <clears throat> oh my god. Oh my god, Bumble did a painting and it looks really good. Sorry, I'm looking at my Discord. <laughs> I love the Discord and I love the people in the Discord. The people in the Discord are very good people. You should definitely subscribe to them. Ever eaten a cannoli? Yo, bitch, you ever eaten a cannoli? I'll hook you up with one. Come on, let's go out sometime, eh? Have a really good cannoli. X not I summon you. He rang, dude. I mean, sir, you rang, Grotus, dude. Grotus, sir. Grotus, sir. Shut up. Go to the Dark Sirens. The Shadow Sirens, sir. That's what I meant to say, yeah. But they. They're really dumb. I don't care how you plan to end that sentence, fool. Now get them now. Gotcha. Gotta get the Paper Mario fidget spinner. Wait, was the Sean Connor joke from earlier the open that appears in that Sonichu video? I don't think so. Also, hello, Nico Bola. N Nico. God, everyone gets my name wrong, so I feel really bad when I get people's name wrong. Nico Bola. I think that's it. Subscribe to Dradic for your fart fetish needs. No. Yes, please do follow me on Twitter. I have zero redeeming qualities. Subscribe to me for my one famous achievement. Draddy and Draddy Senior, page two on DeviantArt. Whoa, it's Skylar. Just in time to not come into the stream. Pray tell why the princess watched the map. Shut the fuck up, Beldem. We will already have it if you'd snatched her earlier. But now, since you've missed your chance, some poor fool named Mario has the map. It wasn't my fault, truly. There were too many prying eyes there. Too many. Besides, a strange woman showed up at the moment of truth, and we hired a retreat. Why worry? All we need to do now is find this Mario and steal the map, yes? Indeed, that is your duty. Must I remind you, that map is vital to the x not plan. Is this all we're going to fucking talk about is the map? I get it. It's important. I will have my men prepare all available information on this Mario. For now, hear me, Bell Dam. You shadow sirens must take care of this troublemaker in the name of the Lord and Jesus himself. Fear not, sire. I, Bell Dam, shall return with what you seek. And my two bitch sisters will come too. Marilyn and Vivian. How is how is that their names? I never really remembered their names. Come on, let's get the job done. 
Get it, because she's the fat one. Vivian, best partner. Best partner. 2010. 2010. Vivian, best partner. Oh dear. Here we go again. I can't believe I'm kidnapped again. Mario and Toadsworth must be worried sick again. She's almost like looking at the camera when she says that. But hang on a moment. Where in the world am I anyways? So unfair. I wish I could at least let Mario and Toadsworth know that I've been caught. They had all that Oingo Boingo music in the last level, but this one, nice, good music, wholesome, American. Don't you dare talk back to me, young man, I want a divorce. Oh, you never got my mailing address? Oh shit, I thought that in that same conversation we had, I gave it to you. Look, it's the girl boy who everyone ships with Mario. And me. I'm a part of this. Don't disclude me from this awful ship. <clears throat> I just saw Lucky Logan trap. Yeah. I'm sending this link to everyone says fetish. Hayden has a fetish to trap foot art porn because he's a freak. I am not. Oh, I, sh I should put you on the call? Well, clearly from reading your comment here, I have put Peach to sleep. I don't think so. I care about her too much. What are these? <laughs> Nuclear fucking missiles? Actually, wait. Let me open up some of these doors. Never mind. Let's not open those doors. That's how we do- the fuck? Oh, yeah! That's right, this game has an obsession with Peach getting nude all the time. What a lovely shower. No soap scum even. Wow, I wonder if it works. Because I think it's like three times Peach gets naked in this. Ah. <laughs> That's what I always do when I take a shower. I have a good laugh about it. I was going to say, are you, are you just going to wait in there? Or? This game is very sexual, I'm starting to notice. Like, you have the dragon with the foot thing, you have this, it's... I'm refreshing, I feel like a new princess. See, and then she fucking does her hair up in an adorable little ponytail. I like this game. Alright, listen. You can like games for different reasons. This is why I like this game, one reason. <laughs> Oh, what was that? Hey, how odd. The door opened by themselves. Better go investigate. Weird. It doesn't look like anyone's around. I sure hope nothing b -b -b bad happens. Time to go. It doesn't work. Time to go. No. How do I keep making these doors open? Could it be my electric personality? <laughs> Anyways. Boy, this isn't um, intimidating at all. <laughs> He's trying to come off as like calming and so he turns off all the lights. She walks in and just goes Hello, princess. <laughs> Uh, what, what? Who said that? Where are you? How amusing. I am right here, before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am the Tech XX. Many call me Tech. You may. Sir Grotus created me to be a perfect computer, one that is flawless in its reason. Grotus? Wait, he's that awful dome-headed thing who interrogated me, right? Sir Grotus is not awful. 
He's a very great person. He's marvelous. Well, I don't think so. Well, then you're a stuck-up bitch, aren't you? But I doubt I'll change your mind. So I'm wondering, why did you let lead me in here? Careful, you might get a paper cut. Are we friends? You asking me? Yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Peach with a ponytail is super cute. It is. Luck necked giraffe. Luck necked giraffe, mom. Your voice is amazing. You know what? Your name is amazing. I love that. <laughs> Luck necked giraffe, mom. <laughs> Welcome to the stream if you haven't been here before. Imagine if that was her official voice. Hayden is Logan Paul and goes out back in his farmhouse to laugh at the dead patrons he's killed in his midnight adventures. Do you like how I had to read that like I don't know how to read? I am unsure. An unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you earlier. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. Also, an un... I'm having a stroke. I'm so bad at reading. Also, an unidentified impulse sped through my processors. These events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs. And there were... And their solution was, I wanted to know more about you. I wanted to observe you. Such a compulsion has no precedent. Cause unknown? I, the perfect computer. I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. This is why I led you here. Wait, did you just say you want to observe me? To know more about me? Could it be that you... No, impossible, it can't be, you're a computer. Uh... What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, it couldn't really, because it's just too weird. <laughs> this game like brings up the weirdest subjects. You never think about this, but Compared to the first Paper Mario, it was a lot more, like, wholesome and simple, but this one talks about a lot of weird subjects. Please, tell me. Please. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should not be anything that I do not understand. Please. Well, you know, maybe. Is it possible that, well, you're in love? With me? Love? What is love? <laughs> I do not understand. Let's go to Wikipedia and Google love. I cannot compute this. Are you fucking serious? Wait, you don't know what love is? I love that they fucking, they did this. They do this so much. But my favorite is that they did this in Sonic Adventure 1. Fucking years before this game. What was, was there like a movie that came out that everyone wanted to like copy about a woman falling in love with a computer or something or a robot? You know what? This trope is as old as time because that movie Shape of Water is pretty much the same thing. Wait, you don't know what love is? Love. How do I explain? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel happy just to see that person happy, smiling, having fun. When you love someone, you'll do anything to help when he or she is in trouble. Happiness. Fun. I have definitions for these words, but... <laughs> My programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am a perfect computer. Comprehend love? Love's not something you comprehend, Tech. You feel it. Mm. 
That's what he that's what he sounded like. He just made a big snort. Princess Peach, will you help? <laughs> Princess Peach, will you teach me to feel this thing you call love? You've been in two previous streams. Yeah, I thought the name sounded familiar. Yeah, I love that name. That's great. Hayden is constantly having a stroke when he gets horny for paper. Stalking PC. Hayden is a futa. I am not. I'm a dude. Dang it. Overall, this game is fucking weird. Hayden told me he was a futa in confidence, but fuck that futa freak. What? You're a computer. Then all of a sudden, like, tentacles come out of the wall. That's that's what this sounds like. It sounds like a setup for something weird. What? You're a computer. Why would you care about love? I am perfect. There must be nothing that I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love. Please. <laughs> if you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But, of course, I am unable to grant such a wish as letting you escape. What, are you insane? You ex-jerks kidnapped me like a common Koopa! Peach, alright, don't get so high and mighty. Everyone captures you all the goddamn time. Like, you're not that special, really. If someone kidnapped a Koopa, I think that'd be weird. I'd want to save that Koopa more. Because you're, like, you know, a daily occurrence. But that Koopa... Why did they steal the Koopa? That's weird. And now you call me in here to ask me to teach you the meaning of love? I should spit on your screen. You'll grant me wishes? Ha! <laughs> Why should I believe you? I understand you are angry. That emotion I comprehend. You need not teach me now. But I must learn of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why, if you would just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Do you understand me? Now tell me your wish. Are you sure? Well, okay, here goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner the better. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh, boy. <coughs> yes, of course you may. Use my computer to send wireless mail to anywhere you want. If you so wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the... Oh, the recipient. I'm stupid. Enter the recipient address and message. You mean this keyboard? Alright. Let me give this a shot. Okay, it's ready, Tech. Could you send it? Oh my god. You you sent Mario a nude. Ew. The message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you in again when I want to ask you something. <laughs> uh Okay then, good night. Good night, Princess Peach. All right. We all feeling uncomfortable yet? I bet there's a bunch of porn of this. I don't know. I know there's a lot of porn of um, Paper Mario 1000 Your Door. I don't know about tech. Like, porn regarding tech. Oh, here we go. Bowser's my favorite. I don't know if I've made that clear before. I really, I have grown very fond of Bowser these past couple years. Oh, I won't be able to do his voice justice because my voice is all fucked up right now. Oh, he looks great in this game. <laughs> Bowser, the mighty Koopa King has arrived. Hold your applause, minions! 
But now that I'm here... Cabby! You crusty old hag! Why did you summon me? <coughs> Was your castle, Bowser, you fucking asshole? Oh, great lord, uh... That, uh... Crusty hag Cammy will arrive momentarily. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait at the rear of the room. And this is the moment when all gamers at once unanimously <coughs> screamed in excitement. Because they get to play as motherfucking Bowser, y'all. Get to play as motherfucking Bowser, y'all. Yo, what's up, bitches? So the other day I saw Lord Bowser gazing longingly at a photo of Princess Peach. <laughs> Uh, you may want to put a cork in it, man. Oh, I tell you the look on his face when he was mooning over that thing, huh? Oh, God, no, it's Bowser. <coughs> well, I'm dying to hear the rest of your hilarious story, Mr. Comedian. Do share. Can you actually kill him? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I wish you could. That'd be awesome. <clears throat> Burr. Oh, I can do her voice really well because I'm sick. Lord Bowser. <coughs> Make Bowser a silent character? Oh, fuck that. Tech's keyboard is actually his dick. Tech is a bit of a creep, bruh. He's a, he is a bit he is a bit much. Yeah, he he just kinda Jumped on Peach and is now ordering around. It's a bit much, but he's confused. He's lost. He's like a little kid. Like, come on. Yeah, be patient with him. He's pretty harmless. He can't do anything. His keyboard. <clears throat> he is so handsome. He is. Right? Tech is instantly nuts when he starts typing. He's like, fuck, Marsh, you beat me to... <laughs> yeah. The bows, you still got it. There's actually a lot of porn of tech with... Oh, okay, okay. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Getting to play Bowser and Ganondorf and Smash was sick, yeah. This game is even more talky than the Half-Life 2 chapter Red Letter Day and Black Mesa East combined. Seriously, it's... It sucks, too, because I'm, my voice hurts, so I have to do all these fucking voices, and there's so much talking between. I've just now returned. I'm terribly sorry to keep you, my lord. Oh, there you are, Cammy. Now out with it. Why have you called me here? <coughs> Please, your grumpiness. Don't be so impatient with your poor servant. Ahem. It's my displeasure to report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Rokeport. <laughs> Oh, wait, what? What is that emotion? I thought he was, like, spitting something out. Am I Mario's babysitter? I'll give a shit where he is. You're gonna call me every time that guy blows his nose or what? Sheesh. Well, you see, my lord. Shut the fuck up. Let me finish. Apparently, Mario is hunting for an amazing treasure. T -t 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 treasure? Yes, Mario has gone in search of the star-shaped Jew. Jew! <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. The star-shaped jewel known as the Crystal Star. I'm researching just what they are, but there's no question of their high value. The Crystal Star, you say? They sound like a good world-conquering tool. I want them. I don't know what the fuck they do, but I want them. Yes, very good. Continue researching this for me, you brainy hag, you. Yes, <laughs> sir. Thank you, sir. <coughs> to me. By the way, Lord. <coughs> Do you like fried eggs? I don't know, guys. Do you like fried eggs? In the comments. I like fried eggs. What do you guys think? I swear, Dreddix is going to die doing that voice. I, I'm, I'm already there. Yeah, I got two glasses of water over here for this occasion. <clears throat> Make Bowser sound like Sakura from Fire Emblem Fates. 
I have so many fans that love Fire Emblem. I have never played Fire Emblem once in my life, but everyone drops Fire Emblem memes on me. I don't know. I don't know any of them. What's Sakura sound like? Is she, that just a girl? Yes, yes, meh, yes. You bet I do. Hell yeah. I like the enthusiasm. G giraffe? All right, fuck it, yeah. Who doesn't like a good fried egg? I love fried egg, love them. But what a weird question, why do you ask? Well, during my Mario retcom, I stopped at a lovely place called Petal Meadows. I was planning on taking everyone there for a picnic. To have some fucking eggs and toast, know what I'm saying, Bowser? Of course, I, I wouldn't think of sending out invites without asking you first, Lord Bowser. I mean, like, you know, we all want to go down there, you know, shoot the shoot the basketball. They got a little nice basketball loop. It's on the water side, too. The view is beautiful. Airhead! <laughs> a big dick! You fucking moron! There's no time for fun! Fuck fun! See, this is why my evil plans always get derailed, because you clods are always goofing off! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear Lord Bowser, please calm down. Remember your blood pressure. Eh? What's that? What? Is this true? Lord Bowser, terrible news! Some bold fool abducted Princess Peach and Robot! <laughs> <laughs> Can this seat be fucking over? I'm almost dead. When, where, how did you do? Who did such? Uh, who would do such a horrible thing? Besides me. I'm afraid we don't have the information quite yet. The investigation's ongoing. One thing is most certainly confirmed, however: the princess has been kidnapped. Under no circumstances anyone allowed to capture the princess without my say so. I will not stand for this. I'm going to Rogue Port now. I'm gonna kidnap her back. Oh, my favorite. Alright. But your grown greenness went up. I guess that's where his castle is. I kind of like it. Wait, Hayden, that shit's not a cup, it's a mug, you fucking lying futa- Stop! There are better places to take a nap than on the ground, you know. <coughs> oh, God. <clears throat> oh, poor, poor Hayden. Poor Hayden is hurt. I've hurt myself. Airhead! He just licks her ear. <laughs> Dreadic streams for your SMR fetish needs. We fly! Oh, I've hurt my throat. I've hurt it so bad. But I do it for you. God damn it, there's more fucking talking. <clears throat> I'm gonna do this in the quietest voice I can. Coops. My lad, are you telling me that you're going with Mario? How does that sound on the thing? It kind of picks up, yeah. Um, that's right, Dad. I'm going to continue traveling with Mario. Does it sound weird? If this sounds weird, then, you know, someone tell me. And then, I'm, well, I'm going to come back a strong Koopa like you, Dad. With even thicker eyebrows. Nicely said, young Koopa. That's my boy. But also remember this, you are my son, Coops, and I am your father. Never think that you're better than me, you shit. Coops, my sweet, I'll be right here waiting to prove myself. I listen to Asma sometimes. Sometimes I do too, embarrassingly. I'll be right here waiting for you to prove yourself. Like, she already has a new boyfriend on her cell phone. Like, she's already texting him right now. It's like, yeah, I'll totally wait up. <laughs> yeah. 
May I just add, if anything happens, you could always come home, Coops. This is what it was like when I quit my job at the pub. Like, everyone's all like, oh yeah, good luck getting your bachelor's and all that. But if it crashes and burns, you could always come back here. <laughs> Don't you ever forget that. This village will always be your home. Oh, thank you, everyone. Well, I'm off. That's right, that was the voice that I gave him. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. You know, farewells. So, where are we going? Oh, yeah. I haven't done her voice. I love doing her voice. Well, let's head back to Rogueport. Remember, Mario? The bearer of the magical map should unfurl it before the thousand-year door. <clears throat> when this is done, the star shall guide the barrier to the crystal star with pure light. Sounds like a line from a yaoi. Thank you, Bumble... Bumblegum? <laughs> Jadix's silent voice is so deep and philosophical. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. That's the... That's, that's my... I'm trying to be smart voice. <laughs> I have nothing to say, but I will make it sound like I have a lot to say. And it didn't stop there. Each crystal shot shall point to the next. That's what the book says. Which means, if we take the crystal star we found back to the thousand year door... So, that means the location of the next crystal star will appear on that magic map. Exactly! Come on, let's go! Playing some Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop. Oh, hell yeah. I was lying back. I thought that old Koopa's eyebrows were big, bulging eyeballs. <laughs> Whoa. Hayden, spread them and give me a nice cheek flap into the mic. You mean one of these? <laughs> you know what? People always make that joke all the time of like, you know, Oh no, I heard something in the bathroom. It sounded like... But the funniest one you can do <clears throat> is taking your fingers and just slapping at your arm. Because it sounds a lot more like aggressive and like uncomfortable. It's like... <laughs> Although, warning, it does hurt a lot. Yeah, I saved. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, let's get some items, actually. That's right, because I needed uh, some flower power that one time, and I did not have it. Let's get two. Hell yeah. <laughs> let's also get a motherfucking fire flower, baby. Goodbye, mustache man. I love you very much, but our love is forbidden. Also, I hate you. I lied. <laughs> Got him. <clears throat> oh, alright. Something wrong, Mario? You're, uh, shaking. Are you feeling alright? Mario's just like... Oh, excuse me, I got a message on my cellular device. There's a new, uh, mail. Did you get some mail? <clears throat> my dearest... My dearest Mario, I sent this letter in the hope that it reaches you safely. I'm being held against my will in some strange... Oh, I'm being held against my will in some strange place. Though I do not know where I am, I remain unharmed in a relative comfort. Those who have captured me seem to be after the map I sent you earlier. They may be hoping to use it to find the objects they call the Crystal Stars. I do not know what they are planning, but I have a feeling it's not anything positive. Mario, please collect these stars before they do. You must! They are already aware that you have the map, so please be very careful. And please, don't worry about me, Princess Peach. Yeah, you didn't bring up the whole... A computer has a crush on you thing, did you? Oh, you got mail for the princess? That's really cool. So anyway, she's alright? Alright, fuck it, cool.
Oh, I need to turn off the cricket thing. Hell yeah. You know what I especially miss uh, about this game that's gone is the uh, the spin. You guys remember the spin? You'd be playing as Mario and you'd be running uh, somewhere, and to speed up, you do like a little whirl. You do a little thing. I miss that. Come here. God damn it! This was the same problem we had last time. Aiden, right, don't be impatient. Just wait. You just wait. Just wait it out. There we go. Okay. 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 Good. Good. Okay. Good. Good. Oh, perfect. I am the king. I never get hurt. I never fuck up. All right. There we go. Good. Good. All right. Oh, hey. I couldn't get here before. Anything over? Uh, no. Oh, my God. This game is so cool, you get to walk in the background. My son has a game where you can walk in the background. It brings you to a useless bits that I don't want to talk to right now, but hey. God, when I lose my voice, I lose half of my personality because I'm always making stupid voices. Bop. Alright, I'm pretty sure the crystal stars are down here. <clears throat> Hang on, let me let me read this blasphemy. Oh no, Mario's having a seizure. Oh no. Hayden plus Fez2 equals Fire Emblem Gaiden. What, what in the world are you guys doing? I just do that before watching the stream. What did you do? <coughs> <coughs> I just did that before watching the stream. Oh, the... Nice. Haha, <laughs> fool me tips. For Hayden. Why is it so cold out? Fuck. Hey Gex. Dreadx plus Hayden equals Hey Gex. Actually, if you spell my name, there's no E in it. Just letting you know. It's a weird spelling. Oh no, Mario's having a seizure. Oh no. Oh fuck, I keep bumping the damn mic. Wait, whoa, what? No, what, what did I miss? Oh my god. Travis is hosting my stream and I still haven't <laughs> made a little uh, animation for hosting. Thank you so much, though. Whoa, that's awesome. Anyways, I'm trying to catch him on the comments. Hayden plus Fire Emblem 2 equals Fire Emblem Gaiden. I mean, would you talk about a horny computer while you're typing on the horny computer? Fair. Well, I'm afraid that this is where I go off. Good luck with the stream, YouTube life, etc. All right. You take care, long neck. I love you. Appreciate you. Love that name. Real cool for the short while you were here. Hayden is gay man. No. Who's that? A hosty boy. Dread Daddy, Mommy is being mean. She won't let me have apple juice. This is bullshit. Move out. Give me money. Subscribe to my Patreon. <laughs> All right, what is this? Hayden is just like Christian. They're both, th they're both thirty. I'm not thirty. They both live with their parents. A lot of people I know do as well. Hayden's emerald eyes. OC is very similar to Sonichu and they both have cut holes in 
their taints and want the boobies and China. Also, Hayden keeps messaging me about his virgin rage. <laughs> I don't know how many times I have to tell you not to talk to other people about my virgin rage, all right? You know what? I thought that I could be, you know, personal with you. I thought that I could be open and honest, but you know what? Apparently not. Apparently we're just fake friends, right? Huh? Fuck. Bullshit. Why do I tell anybody anything anymore? Come on. Gotta scanoodle my way through the bars. Oh, fuck. Am I? Can I? Fuck. All right, that's not an idea. Okay. I think I need the boo for that. Not the boo. I need the ghost for that. Not the ghost. I need Vivian for that. I don't know the way. <laughs> Fuck you, it's my apple juice. Check your tumbler. Also, she says, you sleeping on the couch because show your history. What's funny is that I have a jug of apple juice right next to me. Whoa. <coughs> I'm a lonely 15-year-old male. Oh. Them, them feels, my dude. I, too, remember being 15. God, what was I doing when I was 15? I must have been... That's right. I was in middle school playing Knights of the Old Republic and memorizing philosophy quotes and drawing in my sketchbook. Guys, I don't know if you know this, but uh, back in the heyday, I, I wasn't some fucking, I wasn't some like loser or anything. I was cool. Like all people in middle school are. I was really cool, I assure you. That being said, though, Knights of the Republic is fucking awesome. What in the world is in here? Oh my god, I remember this. This is levels. Do not enter. The pipe is the entrance to the pit of a hundred trials. First attack and bump attack badges won't work, so beware. Yeah, I don't know if I ever did the hundred pit challenge or not. I've heard it's really... Like, cool and awesome. I don't know what the prize is at the end. Gotta talk to your cousin, man. That's awesome. Gonna leave now. Okay, bye, Lulu. Yeah, I think it was fun, too. Tell Nick I said hi and that it's uh, no big deal that he missed the stream. <coughs> I'm a just a seven... I'm just a 17-year-old vagina. I don't know what these losers are talking about. <laughs> Anyone here who's around the age of 14 and up, if you're a lonely, horny Melvin jacket. Wow. 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 Right, I was going to check my tumbler. Oh, by the way, yeah, Nico followed me. I don't know why my thing didn't tell me that. Or maybe it did and I missed it. But yeah, thank you, Nico, for following. I love you. I appreciate you. And I got the next location. Oh, and thank you, Ratchet. Thank you, Ratchet Extreme, for following me on Tumblr. Oh, I apologize. The music's a little weird in uh, the port. For some reason, it has trouble loading it. it but everywhere else is fine. I see crystal clear. Uh, so can you tell us where the next crystal star is or not? 
It is in the Oogly Boogly Forest. The second crystal star is inside a great tree there. A great tree? In the Oogly Boogly Forest, huh? Wow. About those woods, I think some odd creatures live there. If memory serves, there's a pipe beneath town that leads to those woods. Uh, Professor Franklin. Uh, frankly, but you should probably know it's about Princess Peach. Mr. Mario got an email from her just recently. Her Highness said that the guys who kidnapped her are also hunting crystal stars. Oh, and she said she doesn't even know where she's being held. Yeah. Ah, uh, the Princess Peach kidnappers are also looking for the crystal stars. What could they have hoped to achieve? Could the treasure be... Ugh. Too many unknowns. Unfortunately, the only clues we have to rely on are the crystal stars in that stupid fucking map. <coughs> <coughs> so now we gotta go to the great oogly boogly forest to get the goddamn star. Just let me go already. Alright, there we go. My brother. I, I, I'm so sorry. No, you have no excuse. Where have you been? I've been at the house. I cooked a spaghetti. And then a Goldilocks. Goldilocks come in. She's leaving the bed. She touched the food. She touched my spaghetti. I love Luigi on this one. Oh, hey, big brother. Fancy meeting you here. What a quinky dink. Eh? Who, me? Well, bro, I am on an adventure. I have to rescue Princess Eclair of the Waffle Kingdom. <coughs> what I wish they did was he just rescues Princess Daisy. Why is Princess Daisy barely mentioned in the other Mario games? Like, I'm sure there was discussion about this. I get it. It's a joke, but like... Why not Princess Daisy? It's so obvious. Yeah, it's a bad scene, all right. She's been captured by the evil Chestnut King. If you got to know, I met with some Waffle King captain members the other day. It was pretty crazy, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Hang <clears throat> on. What's the comments been saying? I haven't gotten laid in never. That's a sentence. <laughs> I have I played a lot of video games at 15. I just draw stupid crap and play video games. Also watch anime. Everyone, uh, I found a rare beta version of Hayden in high school. And it's Chris Chan. Very good. Very good. I just saw, I just draw human versions of actual shit. <laughs> Which one is Hayden? You decide. I draw. So how are you guys? All right. Stupid shit sometimes for Hayden. Somebody wants some. Somebody touch you my spaghetti. <coughs> <coughs> I love Princess Daisy. I should draw her more often. Actually, I love her. She was she was the best. I remembered I played her in Smash sometimes. I was like, whoa, Daisy's cool. She's way cooler than Peach, huh? Like, fucking none of my friends would even play Peach, so it didn't matter. <laughs> uh, sounds good to me. Which part of my story do you want to hear? Oh, that's right, because you get to go through his whole tale. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. My big brother, that's you, bro, got a letter from Princess Peach and took off. Left behind as usual, I was cooking a snack at home when another letter of our, uh, arrived. We don't get so much mail, so I was thinking, huh, well, this is what the letter said. Sirs, my name is Crepe. I am a cabinet minister in the far-off Waffle Kingdom. Our land has been attacked by the, by the chestnut king who took our princess Eclair. I asked, nay, begged for your assistance. The Waffle Kingdom needs your skills. I humbly request your prompt response, sirs. Sincerely, Crep. Well, I don't remember it exactly, but I think it went something like that. With Mario, that's you, bro, gone, it fell to me to answer this plead. Hesitating only a teensy bit, I headed to the Waffle Kingdom to investigate. Oh, no. First, I, I wrote a note to myself about what I was cooking. Then I left. All right. 
<coughs> Once I reached the Waffle Kingdom, I met Minister Krep, who filled me in. The Chestnut Kingdom, at, the Chestnut King had kidnapped Princess Eclair and vanished. Apparently, though, some oracle said a marvelous compass should locate her. This marvelous compass had been broken into seven parts by an ancient curse. And those parts have been scattered across the land. Can you believe it, bro? Yeah, I cannot. I cannot believe it. Half price. I cannot believe. <laughs> Each part of the marvelous compass was said to point to the next direction. And since one of the parts was embedded in the tiara worn by the princess, I surmised that once I collect all the parts, I'd find her. Smart, huh? The minister gave me the compass base spoken of in Waffler Fables. When it's activated, the entire thing lit right up, indicating the deep south. He was pointing me towards Rumble Bump Volcano on the Pudding Continent. So yeah, here I am. I'm sailing out of Rugport for Rumble Bump Volcano. It's probably going to be pretty dangerous, but I got to rescue that princess. Cool. Fuck you. I'm out. Daisy's not in Smash. Uh, one of Peach's skins is Daisy. Yeah, that that's what I meant. Peach with the Daisy color. Kill me. No. Or suck me. Oh my god, it moves very slow. Now we get to this... Fuck, I forgot about you. Uh, where's my contact man? I want my fucking contact. How do I get to... Uh, oh, fuck this guy. He fucks you up, I think. Or wait, no. Is this guy just a bad salesman? <coughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He, uh, he sells you stuff sometimes. None of it particularly useful, but he sure does sell it. Um, shit, I don't know where the fuck I'm going, actually. Uh, I don't actually, yeah, I don't know where the fuck to go. Um... Wasn't there... Yeah, you're from Shadowville, aren't you? Hey, my name's Darkly. I'm done talking for now. Okay, cool. Oh, wait, shit. I can actually upgrade uh, my partners there. Hey, what's up, Merlin? Let's upgrade my boy Coops. Shazibi. <clears throat> Feel the power. And you may go. Get out. Get out. All right, bitch, from out of here. Should have read the instructions. I don't know where I'm going. And I have to pee. Oh boy. What's well, good? Showing some serious danger action. That's good. Danger's good. Believe me, I know. Uh, what did I just walk into? The snail army? Where the fuck are you? What do you want, chump? If you got business, you haven't beat it. Who the fuck are you guys? Where do you get off talking to me like nothing happened? There, like there was no beating. Yeah, guys like you act real cool when you win, but when you lose, you're all like, what? That's, oh yeah, I remember you. Yeah, I, <laughs> for that time I fucking kicked your ass in, shit. That's so funny that he sticks around. I love that. Alright, and then... Can't really get up here. Is 
This is the uh, the Family Guy fan character, uh, Seth MacFarlane himself. He wrote in to Nintendo and uh, begged and pleaded to have one of his original OCs inside of the game, and they they took pity on him, honestly. Uh, and I think that's very uh, admirable of them, you know. I don't often think of Nintendo as a charity service, but I think that was very charitable of them to help out Seth MacFarlane. He was going through some hard times at the time. I don't know where the fuck this joke is even going. <clears throat> Just find women thighs on Google. What are we talking about? I love this game. It's my favorite on the GameCube. Hey there, awesome, Peyton. Favorite game in the GameCube. I've gotten to uh, the Thousand Year Door, but I get stuck. Yeah. Yeah, stuck... Uh, do you mean like when you first see it? Or like you can't find the uh, first level after that? Sorry, I'm just curious because I beat the game, so I'd like to help if I could. Oh, hey. Hey, girl. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to look around. Just going to play it off like nothing happened. Maybe this isn't the same person. Maybe it isn't, actually. Um... Exactly commands hard, but earns more. Oh. Gets more appeal. See, I love the badges in the second game. The badges were the best part. Because they really changed a lot of the, like, battle dynamics. They were a lot more fun. Fighting in uh, Paper Mario was a lot more fun. All right. Uh, legit, I have absolutely no idea where to go. Does anyone at all remember this game? Uh, how to get past this part? You get stuck on the fight with a dome head guy. Yeah. Um. Oh, that might be the ending, actually. <clears throat> oh, oh, okay, okay. So it's in the it's in the sewer. Cool. I hate you. Oh shit. Oh wait, you're talking to Pal Marshmallow. Okay, I feel better. What's up behind the door number five? This bitch is crazy. I'm out of here. Um, I'm assuming they wanted me to go through here. Or no, because... Well, Alright, fuck it. We'll just... We'll talk to that one lady. Because who knows? Maybe she'll help. Because legit, I do not remember how to get to the forest at all. I might have to look it up, actually. Yo, what's good? Fortune teller. That's me. Lucky for you. Come here. Fortune, no fear. Let my mystical powers help you. What do you want? Give it a try. That's good. That's great. Choose your path to fate. Which path do you choose? Uh, I'll take the $20 commission. As cheap as I can get. That's fine by me. So ready? Ready for me? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Rattle you around in my motherfucking ball, bit, bit, bit. Rattle around, back to side to side, bap, bap. I'm Mystic Power in battle. You'll win with style. Even if nasty foes arrive, you'll win since my fortune will thrive. Okay, come again. All right, cool. I guess I'm, I'm going to win now, everybody, so uh, I'm looking forward to it. And then I have to defeat Bowser without getting a chance to heal or save. Yeah, that sounds like the ending. <clears throat> Are you in Chapter 2, by the way? Because I can help. Yeah, I'm looking for the uh, Haunted Forests. I have no clue, and it's been a very long time since I played this game. Alright, Luke, I'm on to your fucking game. I'm not going to keep reading all of your hashtag long-ass green texts. 
I have a life to live outside of you. I'm sorry. Alright, that leads me to the other location. So, I know better than to go through there. I don't want to use IGN. I want to use my big smart brain. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's where I was heading, so, yeah. Ah, okay, I get it now. Oh, I love these guys. Don't eat me! <clears throat> you didn't come to eat me? I don't know if I can do this much longer. We might make it to the forest and then I'll call it. <laughs> Guess again, nerd! No. Boy, that's good. I thought for a second I might have an accident. What? Aren't you one of the creature from the Oogly Boogly Forest? Why are you down here? Why do you know about me? No, you must be. You guys are working for those x knots aren't you? You chased me here. God, this guy's skittish. <clears throat> My favorite part is that he's screaming and freaking out, and then you just look at Mario's dumpy stance. He's just like... It's me! <laughs> I love Mario in this so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Look, we're not here to do anything, so relax. Tell us what's going on. Well, okay, this gang of bad guys, they call the x not see? They came here where I live. They came, in, they came in me. I mean, they came inside me. No, they came inside our great tree and started tearing it apart and causing trouble. So I've come all the way here looking for help. Bunch of bad guys in the great tree. Well, if those are the same guys who kidnapped the princess, they want the crystal stars. Now that you mention it, they did say something about crystal star thingies, but we punies uh, don't know anything about any crystal stars. Could you help us maybe? Bob, bitch, bitch, just take me to the goddamn forest. Really? You'll do it? You aren't joking? Oh, I'm joking, all right. I love how all your partners speak for you, too. This is a very text-driven game. My god. I do not remember this much talking being in the uh, other games. All right. That's cool. Oh my god, I'm a fucking genius. Decreases your damage by... Ooh. Hell yeah. Fuck you, power bounce. I don't give a fuck. Oh, and here we go. Game to the woods of the punies. Blah, 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 blah. Hurry. Oh, yeah. This level always reminded me of Samurai Jack. How it looked. All right. We'll start this up and then I'll uh, save and we'll probably call it then. God damn it. Why do I always call it when new people come in? Hello there, Gussie. How you doing? A duck walked up to the lemonade stand. A duck walked up to the lemonade stand and he said to the man running the stand, Hey, somebody touch my spaghetti! <laughs> huh. Peanut butter chocolate flavor. Hello there, Gus thy goose. Welcome. Uh, welcome. Welcome to, to this wonderful Paper Mario playthrough. Now that you just showed up, uh, Gus, and I'm, and I'm aware of your presence, I'll play for a little bit longer for your sake, because you just showed up and I was about to call it. 
So the Bogleaf Woods, huh? Looks mysterious, all right. Well, what'll we run into next? Um, okay, just a little bit further and we should be able to see the great tree. The Elder and her friends are waiting for us there. Oh, and my little sister, too. Come on, let's go. God damn, what a beautiful map. My god. Because, like, the first map was... Looked good. It was fine, but it was nowhere near as outlandish and awesome as this one. My god. <laughs> Time to go to work, lovelies. Oh, dude, it's, um... Or, uh, it's, uh... It's Game Grumps. There they all are. There's uh, Danny on the right, Aaron on the left, and there's John in the middle. <laughs> it's not nice. <laughs> Don't you just love spaghetti and meatballs? Mm-hmm. A, find that Mario guy, and B, steal the map to the Crystal Stars, right? We can just do away with Mario and his friends, can't we? Or is that bad? Uh, bad things happen all the time, Vivian, but we're right about our goals. If my information is correct, Mario should be coming down this road quite soon. You must ambush him here and get that map. Huh? What's this now? Vivian? What's that you're fawning over there? She's not doing anything. Oh. Oh, what, you mean this? I found this near that tree over there a while back. Isn't it a gorgeous necklace? It's so lovely, I just had to pick it up. Huh, Vivian, for shame, picking up someone's scrap. Disgusting, greedy. But enough about that, Vivian, my dear Pat Rat. Pack Rat. Bring out the sketch of that Mario guy that you got from Grotius. W what? I, d I don't have that. You said it was too important, so you took it. You should have it. Don't be ridiculous. I don't have that thing. You were in charge of it. You were wretched little worm blaming me for something you probably screwed up. This feels very anime, like the longer I watch it. <laughs> what is it, Marilyn? What's that, a mustachioed fellow? This is no time for such nonsense, you big oaf. Save your games for later. Yeah, there's a save point in the next, uh, next room, actually. Now listen up, Vivian, you little slut. We forgot the sketch, so we're all gonna have to drive home now, but I'm very upset. You dits. Some impudence, how dare you talk back to me like some rebellious child. It's clear to me that your only rationale your type understands is force. Oh fuck, she took the necklace. That's why that scene felt weird and out of place, because you needed to take the necklace away. Are we taking that necklace you just found? Yes, yeah, so sorry. B -b Belgium, you're horrid. Fuck. Sniff, sniff. Oh, what am I to do? Oh, go, go. She can't talk. Isn't that kind of crippling to their whole group? Leave us, scrap right now. I have no business with you. That's good. That's awesome because they don't know what the. To... You're the fucking worst. Oh my god. Shit! Never mind, maybe not the worst. Uh... I don't know, does fire hurt rocket up? Fuck. I thought that I could get a good hit on him, but apparently not. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Oh fuck! Damn it, I didn't mean to. No, don't step on him. Uh.
Don't you just love spaghetti and meatballs? I love spaghetti and meatballs. Wait, shit. Hayden, I'm done. I give up. Just please tell me if you're a Matrix hacker or not. I mean, seriously, I don't know how you know my name. Luke, for the hundredth goddamn time, it's on your Twitter. Every time you message me anything on your Twitter, it says Luke Marshmallow. That is how I know your name. We have had this discussion every single time I've brought this up. <sighs> please follow me into, this, into the big tree. I'm back with American cheeseburgers. If she was Jontron, she would probably just say, ick, 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 ick. Jontron would be in New York right now. Nice. Hell yeah, I got an in coupon. Hmm. Yeah, this whole uh, area just reminded me of Samurai Jack. The kind of flat, minimalistic style to it. Fuck. Come on, get it, get it. There we go. Oh, wait. I can't until I, uh... Yeah. I gotta get up here somehow. How do I get up here again? It's like... What? What? There it is. Yeah. This is a really cool secret. This was something I loved about uh, Paper Mario. Was it let you... Um, experiment around with the depth of every level. Because everything's flat. Uh, or so you may think. Because then there's uh, those little deceptive... Uh, things that you pick up on. Yeah. Oh, guys, I got the quack hammer. Fuck. Well, we can just use an item. Uh, or not. I thought that I got a fire flower. What the fuck? Oh, right. I used it. I utterly wasted it. Um, shake the ground. I can't shake the ground. Can't hit you with a hammer. Can't do much. Just a bit. And just a bit. Only two, that's not that bad. And then I heal, all right, it's not that bad. It's not that bad, Cloud. You know, Cla I was gonna be really upset with you, but you know what, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Cool, all right. Fuck, I need to get the Samurai Jack DVD. I wish that during that big Samurai Jack boom, you know, when they finished off the fifth season, I wish that they capitalized on that a little bit, you know, had, um, Samurai Jack, like, Blu-ray come out? I don't think there's a single Samurai Jack Blu-ray out right now. And I, that sucks. I love Samurai Jack. And I know a lot of, uh... I know a lot of other people that love them too. But specifically, uh, artists. I know a million artists that just adore Samurai Jack. It's one of the reasons I got into, uh, artistry at all. Fuck is this? Place. Should I know this place at all, or won't budge? 
Hey, I don't think anyone's home. It's too quiet. Maybe we should take off. Won't budge. All right, all right. So clearly I need to come back here. And clearly it's very important because there's a health regen and a save point. Oh, yeah? Samurai Jack. Oh, it does have Blu-ray. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. All I ever hear, uh, heard about Samurai Jack was that it was on DVD only. Shit. That's how most uh, cartoons are, especially Cartoon Network shows. Ed and Nettie, as far as I can tell, does not have a Blu-ray. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I did not hear anything about like high-quality Ed and Nettie episodes. Which sucks, because there's a lot of them, so trying to catalog all the episodes is a real pain in the ass. You know what else is not well categorized at all? And I know that literally nobody cares about this, but the Hamtaro episodes are literally impossible to find online. And I mean, like, the ones that are the dub. <sighs> all right. Just wait for Edda Netty 2018. Is that a real thing, or...? Oh, now this stream's reminding me of Undertale. You heard me right, Bumblegum. I said that the Hamtaro episodes are very difficult to find. The good ones. The dubs. Where they're speaking. English. America language, freedom language, Hamtaro. Can I, can we get a hashtag, guys? Can we please get a hashtag of Hamtaro Blu-ray? Please, guys. Can we get that trend? Can we get it number one on trending on YouTube? Hashtag Hamtaro Blu-ray. Blue Hamtaro. Whatever's catchy. Whatever trends. Sorry, he was saying something really funny. I wasn't paying attention. Is this guy for fucking real? Where is he? Told me about a secret entrance around here. And through there. I'm completely sure of it. Problem is, I doubt finding it's going to be easy. I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance for nothing. What should we do? Oh, got it. Madam Flurry's powers can help us. Okay, and this is where we go and talk to What's-Her-Face. Okay, cool. I need to get it before it gets stupid expensive like the Invader's inbox set. Oh, yeah? Ham... Hammer Terrorassassin Tommy Blue Rate Blue Rated Balls. I don't watch Hamtaro. Well, you should. You ever seen Hamtaro on Blu ray? No, you haven't. Because we're not trending it yet. Little Hamster Big Adventures. Tredex is Oxnard. Out of all people, Oxnard? Hold on. I need to look up Oxnard again. I have seen Hamtaro, so I know a thing or two. Oxnard. T no, not Oxnard, California, you fucking losers. I'm talking about Hamtaro. Oxnard? Really? I don't know. He's just kind of... I always saw myself as boss. Mostly because he's, he's seen as the older guy, even though I'm pretty sure they're all the same age. And he's a fucking moron, too. <laughs> come on, guys. Come on. Boss? Eh? Boss? From Hamtaro? Eh? Eh? I don't eat that much. Like, I don't... Mm. Like, come on. He, he's, he's into, like... He's into, he's into, like, the short French girl? Come on. Come on. Boss. Can we... Guys, 
Can we get it trending? Dreddix is boss from Hamtaro 2018. Boss is God. I want a body pillow of boss. <laughs> but I suppose if I stay here too long, I'll begin to carve hustle and bustle before long. Oh, what's happening even as I speak? I already feel the need for drama. When the spotlight shines down on the stage on me, surely I was born to be an actress for the ages. Cool. Man, that's really awesome, the way they hide her identity very subtly what the yo awesome Peyton thank you for following you're a you're a sweetie I love you I love you appreciate you I just have to put on some makeup and make my beauty even more beautiful wait a moment it's gone my my Hayden, you're not fat, and you're not into smaller women. You... D you don't know that. Also, I'm, I'm big. I'm big enough, and also... And also, excuse me. Boss is not fat. Boss is fucking ripped, dude. You ever see... <laughs> there was one fucking episode I still remember where, like, Boss is, like, flexing and shit, and they go completely off-model and make him this disgusting, like, muscly version of himself. And he says this weird shit, he goes like, Yeah, look at my chest! <laughs> it was so dumb. Oh, I totally forgot about Mrs. Popo. Your evil boyfriend. Hello there, your evil boyfriend. Welcome to the stream. Sorry to disappoint if you just showed up, uh, but we will be ending it soon. I've been putting off ending it uh, for a while now, and I... Uh... Oh, wait, shit. We probably have to go and uh, fight the witches for the... Uh, thi Fuck! For the thing in the bob. Howdy, I'm back. Hey, awesome. Or Peyton. Hey, Peyton. You're pretty cool. Thanks for the follow, mate. I like to think that's pretty cool, too. I hate when they go electric. It's just, there's literally nothing I can do. Um... I also love how the little icon for your partner's attacking is a shine sprite. It's like, alright. I guess it's just now they finally have art for it. Oh fuck, we're at level up! Alright guys, last level up before, uh, you know, uh, I call it and try and find a save point. Because I really have to pee, no joke. Uh, what should I get? Health, flower points, or badge? Help me out. You gotta f fix, fix in the jed, Dreddix. Badge points. Oh, well, uh, Peyton, I'll be, uh, doing these streams, I think, every week, probably on the weekends, like Saturday or Sunday. Uh, so just check back in and uh, I'll be continuing the series or if you want to watch uh, the archive Down below that picture of like the cassette tape. That's uh, my archive channel if you want to Just watch through uh, My playthroughs so far up to this point or any playthroughs that you happen to miss but Yeah, subscribe to my archive channel. It's just called Dradex archive And it's pretty good 
Also got a lot of their awesome videos on there. Uh, we played Gmod. That's still my favorite video. Just me and my friends goof around on Gmod for a few hours. It was really funny. Get HP. HP. PP. JK HP. You know what? I'm getting some votes for HP. Fuck it. HP. There we go. Bada boom. Awesome. Okay, also, I read your comments about going back and not uh, wasting time. So, fuck! Speaking of wasting time... I'm gonna eat some macaroni, watch some JonTron videos. Relax. Have a good pee. Excuse me? Oh, yeah, from earlier. Oh, so now I get like a lot of coins. Oh, that's cool. So it aids me in battle. And the more money I gave her, the more I get back from her. Yeah, this is the one that I think they put a lot of love and effort into it. Like, it has a lot of crazy animations. The writing is so, like, thick. There's so much, like, going on with, like, the storytelling, the writing, the everything. There's a lot to appreciate about this, and I think it inspired a lot of uh, young artists. Because there, there were so many crazy designs. It looks so beautiful. The coloring is amazing. There's so many... Look at this level right now. Like, a lot of it is just black and white with so many subtle muted colors, like purples and yellows. A couple, you know, a little bit of, like, pink and purple coming through. It's great. It looks so... Not spooky, but, like, you know, uh... Kind of ominous? Kind of maybe melancholy? I don't know, but it, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. And I can see young artists playing a game like this and being inspired by it being really uh, taken in by it. If you're there, say something. No, out of the question. I mustn't come in here. You mustn't come in here. Is that you? What are you doing? Wait a moment. Those darling squishy little footsteps. Is that you, Punyo? Aw, that's, that's cute. She, she knows them. Aww. It's been ages since I saw you, you poor dears. Is there something you need? Well, the thing is, we have a problem that only you can help us with, ma'am. The Great Tree's entry hole is blocked. Yeah, I've, I've had a couple of issues where my entry hole's been blocked. I just kind of called the doctor about it. He said I need to eat more apples. And <coughs> uh, There's this stupid door we can't seem to open. My puny friends are inside, so they're in a pickle. And Mario needs those crystal stars. He's in a bit of a pickle, too. It's a real train wreck, but there's no train. Is that all, dearie? You came all the way here just for that? My adorable little Punio, you know I would do anything in my power to help you. However, lamentably, I'm in a bit of a bind myself. I just cannot come out. <coughs> something wrong. It's something embarrassing, but I'll never go out without my favorite necklace. I just can't find the blessed thing. I suspect I dropped it on my daily constitutions. My mom says that. She says, have you done your daily constitutions? I'd be simply scandalized if anyone saw me without it, so I shan't be going out. I absolutely must have that necklace to highlight my beauty, and that's that. Gee whiz. That must be some nice necklace, huh? Nah. Hang on. You know, it's weird. I'm sure I just heard someone talking about a necklace. What's that? Do speak up. You, whoever just spoke, do you know some clue about my necklace? The one on the N64 was rad too. I loved it. Yeah, the N64. I did a whole playthrough of it actually on the archive channel. If you wanna, if you would like to watch that, uh, I think that's my best stream that I ever did. Was uh, all the streams of uh, Paper Mario. We had a lot of fun running jokes with that too. I think that's where uh, we kind of established uh, a lot of the uh, 
a lot of the uh, first followers of uh, streams ever since I got into streaming, you know. Yeah, yeah, because that's when uh, I established the Discord, when we got, like, the whole crew together, when I started talking to Nick, and then, like, you know, Luke, and then Lulu. Wow, yeah, that's when a lot started. Anyways. Beldam, I told you. I don't have your stupid fucking sketch. Why do you have such a shit memory? Dear God. Ugh. hate working with you. You dumb. Oh, fuck. It's the same guy we were looking at before. Boing, boing. It looks like they're, like... It looks like they're covered in, like, bubble gum or something, and someone's, like, pulling them off the ground, you know? Da -da 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 so they're gonna go and beat the shit out of Mario. I am going to find the nearest save point. In fact, I already saved... But maybe I'll just do it again out of paranoia. And then I'm going to call it. I went a little bit longer because some more people showed up, but I have to call it. I really have to be. I have been going for a while and my throat's killing me. So thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, stick around. Next, uh, for, uh, next week, I'll be continuing this. And I'll leave a link to the Discord. For anybody that wants to uh, get on the Discord. Whoa, what happened? Who followed? Gus is now following. Thank you, Gus. Thank you so much. I appreciate that very much. And, uh, yeah. Fun fact, people have hacked the game to see what she looks like beyond the door. And she has the necklace. I'd imagine so. Sticker Star as well. Sticker Star also is the first game uh, you finished. This is true. Is it, I get a fan boner every time you say my name. Really? Because it seems like you're more horrified whenever I say your name. Get you get lost, you field hamsters. Yeah, and uh, join the Discord if you want to hear announcements, if you want to give recommendations for uh, other games for me to play. I do drawing streams sometimes, and sometimes I draw dudes that are in the Discord. So, come on in. Give me, give me a, give me, give me a hug. Come on. No, you don't have to. But uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I still don't know how to end things. Yes, please join the Discord so Bumble can talk to you about uh, Sticker Star and how it ruined her childhood. All right, goodbye, everyone. See ya. Everyone's falling asleep in game.